So, it's safe to say that Paw Patrol Season 11's sub-series lineup is an interesting one. First, of course, being Air Rescue, going back to the air theme once again after a few already revolving around the concept. Still a barebones star for the new pipeline in terms of sub-series. And it seems that barebones trend is going to continue, because we now know what the next sub-series is going to be following Air Rescue. Seriously, Rescue Wheels isn't even officially done in Canada, Air Rescue doesn't have a release date yet, and we already know what the sub-series following the latter is going to be. What's next, stuff for Season 12? Anyway, this new sub-series is called Fire Rescue, which was found by an anonymous user for what we know right now, according to Tibsy. And the only thing we have for Fire Rescue is a placeholder logo with Marshall's pup tag, and the release date, which is Fall 2025. Presumably these are US release dates, along with Rescue Wheels and Air Rescue. Those two haven't aired in the US yet. In terms of Canadian release dates based on this, I think Air Rescue will release in Fall 2024, and Fire Rescue in the Spring of 2025. Since Canada usually gets new sub-series about 6-7 to seven months before the US does. Just assuming this since the Canadian release dates aren't confirmed yet. So in terms of Fire Rescue as a concept, I'm generally mixed on the idea. For one, like Air Rescue again, it appears to be a more bare-bones concept. No animal themes like we've seen on the vehicles, no random concepts like superpowers, big rigs, motorcycles, and dinosaurs. Just sticking with one of the core occupations of the show. Air rescues relate in the sky's flying occupation, and fire rescues with marshals. Two simple concepts to start out the new pipeline. But on the other side of things, I don't think fire rescue is a necessary concept when we have the ultimate fire rescue episodes. Why not just do that instead? It has one of the best set of attires in the sub-series and show as a whole. You also have the ultimate fire truck, which all the pups can fit into, which is cool in concept. And finally the team leader aspect, which Ultimate Rescue implemented, by whichever pup was the focus, then they would lead the team and give out orders. The reason I mention the team leader thing is because it seems more likely that we could get character-driven sub-series like Sky with Air Rescue as she is front and center in most of the promotional material thus far. And recently, an Air Rescue book called Rescue Wings mentions Sky first in name, and in the Fire Rescue logo, Marshall's pup tag is present. Again, possibly there as a placeholder, since he's the fire pup and the sub is based around fire rescues. It wouldn't make sense for it to be there, or it could be an indication that he could be the leading the team in these episodes. Which, back to what we mentioned earlier, if this is true, then these sub-series could be taking a page out of Ultimate Rescue's playbook. Again, if this is true, then why not just do the Ultimate Rescue attires and vehicles for this? Because this is Spin Master we'll talk about. Again, they'll do anything to make a quick buck and make profit. Doesn't matter if they've done it before like we've seen with Sea and Jungle Rescues. If it ends up turning a profit, then they'll see it as a win. The sub-series are being done as a way to promote and sell merch essentially one big toy advertisement. And that's how it's been since it started. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. It's been Master's Eyes. Back to the leadership thing, I'm interested to see how it will play out if it does happen. Again, nothing's confirmed yet if Sky or Marshall will be leading the team in both sub-series. But with the new info we've been getting recently, it seems a bit more likely. If this ends up being true, then Air Rescue will be our first glimpse into how the lead team thing will play out. I don't expect it to be much different than what the Ultimate Rescue Eps did, just the difference is the pups will be getting their own vehicles for these, instead of all riding in one bigger vehicle. Still, with all this said, I think this sub-series could have some potential in the form of rescues, because of the upgraded animation. And with this, I'm thinking we could see some actual fires in this sub-series. The main series has mostly stayed away from actual fires, only happening a couple times in the series, possibly due to the limitations of the old pipeline since most of the fires only glowed and showed smoke. There weren't any actual flames. Well, most of the time. The theoretical films are most notable for its fires, with one fire occurring in each film thus far, being much bigger, intense, and having more detailed flames compared to the ones we get in the series. With the new animation upgrade, it's likely this could happen, but don't put your hopes on it happening just yet. As for if we'll see a new pup in this, I think it's possible, but since these sub-series could be character-driven, I think they rather focus on the pup who is the center of attention and the focus, rather than introducing a new team member, as it would be a bit tricky 
the split screen time between both, especially with only 11 and 22 minute episodes within the subseries, respectively. So again, Fire Rescue is a mixed bag for me. While I do like the fact that we're going back to one of the core occupations of the show, with Fire Rescues, they really should have just stuck with the Ultimate Rescue apps instead. Because I think people would rather, much rather see the pups with their Ultimate Rescue gear in the new pipeline than just a new sub-series. And there's really no reason for another Fire sub-series while that's available, but I am still interested in seeing if we'll see some bigger fires within this sub-series. So let me know down below what your thoughts are on Fire Rescue being the newest sub-series on the block and what your expectations are for this concept. Thank you all for watching, and as always, I will see you all again in the next vid.